Fall Guys itself, like all the best ideas, came when we were talking about something else entirely. And then midway through, uh, Joe Walsh, the lead designer on the project, was just like, oh, you know what? This sounds a little bit like Takeshi's Castle, Total Wipeout, all of these things. And we were like, yeah, that's really nice, but we're kind of talking about this game right now. And then he went away and a day later had come back with this one pager for Fall Guys, which was obviously the best idea we've had in ages. Fall Guys is the greatest game show the world has ever seen. So it's slapstick, physics-based, uh, knockout style chaos. So uh, if you've seen Takeshi's Castle, for example, you know where we're going with it. People lined up on the start line and we're gonna put you through round after round of elimination style knockout gameplay. So two minute rounds, we're gonna eliminate maybe 10 or 20 people each time until we've got one player left at the end. So there's an old TV show called It's a Knockout, which basically went to a town, dressed a bunch of people up in really ridiculous outfits, which are impossible to move in, uh, and then made them compete in an obstacle course. Uh, and we kind of went back to that and, and felt that when we were first designing the Fall Guys, they needed to have that element of being completely, uniquely badly designed for the task that we were going to put them through. Like, uh, we wanted them to fall over. Falling over is funny. Uh, we didn't want them to be these like high athletic ninja warrior characters. Oh, this means giving them little stubby legs, big arms, so when they when they fall, fly through the air, they look as funny as possible, uh, and they should also look like they're bouncy as well. You know, a big thing is that no matter how hard a fall guy gets hit, he always gets back up again and keeps running down the rest of the course. They are super keen and eager. They want to win more than anything else. They are super competitive and they love competing. And the entire world is, is built to represent that. And it's something you can see when you, when you play the game. If you look up into the sky, you can see you're kind of in this giant dome. Um, there's cameras everywhere flying by, there's billboards. You should get a sense when you play the game that everything that you see has been designed to, to create the, the spectacle of Fall Guys and the, the massive game show that we're trying to emulate. As with all game development, we're at the stage where everyone is looking very, very nervous and things are definitely not on fire and everything is fine, uh, which I believe is more traditionally known as approaching alpha. Uh, for us, this means that this represents being able to play through the game in real world conditions, which are going to replicate what it's going to be like when the game goes live. Immediately on it, this means uh, recruiting people from all of our different studios. So we have up to 60 or 70 people in London, 20 people in Madrid, more in Brighton. Um, you can hear the screams uh, from down the office as people are kind of like falling off of things or being pushed off of things or coming so close and failing. Uh, there's this really kind of like fun competitive atmosphere which has been echoed, uh, you know, when the game has been showed. So the thing with Fall Guys that makes it so unique is this combination of the chaos that you get from playing with other people, but also the character that we give you to compete with. They are adorable and unstable and they're always falling over. And when you combine that character with 99 other people, the chaos is just like off the charts. It is a game that is going to keep on growing, keep on living. We have huge like live operations games to service experience. So there will always be new rounds. There will always be new things to play in Fall Guys. And I think it's just going to be a bright splash of color in your life. Uh, and I cannot wait to share it.